What's going on, family? It's your boy King Ty back with another video. In this video, we're talking about the Nets lifting Kyrie Irving's suspension after he apologized, and they say it should have come sooner. So this is three hours ago by Fox News, and I just want to break down some of the media deception within this article. Um, so it says as expected. The Brooklyn Nets will lift their suspension on point guard Kyrie Irving Sunday against the Memphis Grizzlies. Irving has been suspended, suspended since November 3rd after posting an anti-Semitic movie on Amazon to his social media. He spoke to reporters on Sunday prior to the game, saying once again that he is sorry for his actions. So right here, let's stop. So he's been on an apology tour, similar to the way that Nick Cannon went on his apology tour, similar to the way that... Uh, Kevin Hart went on his apology tour. You understand what I'm saying? But let's keep reading. I don't stand for anything close to hate speech or anti-Semitism or anything that is anti going against the human race. Irving said via ESPN, I feel like we all should have an opportunity to speak for ourselves when things are assumed about us. So this is Kyrie telling the media, I wish I had a chance to speak for myself because y'all assumed a lot of things about me. Y'all put a lot of shit up there in the media, and y'all created the narrative. I didn't barely have a chance to speak. No one wanted to hear my perspective. Everyone was so concerned in creating the narrative and creating their own cohesive perspective together. When things are uh, when things are assumed about us, um, and I feel it was necessary for me to stand in this place and take accountability for my actions because there was a way I should have handled all of this. Now, in terms of there was a way that he should have handled all of this, no, he handled it the right way. Sometimes you got to take a stand. They want him to toe the line and be a good nigga. And he didn't handle it like how they wanted him to handle it. So then now he has to go on to an apology tour. Let's keep going. Irvin didn't initially have the right response to the issue in the Nets' eyes. As he didn't publicly apologize for the first time he had the chance with the media. But after, long, but after going through the six-step program the Nets gave him before he could return, he knows he should have gone about things differently. Okay, so let's talk about that six-step program. We didn't hear anything about a six-step program within the last week and a half or so. Kyrie just still had a lot of things to do. And it just seems as though after go along, get along game came out and said, Skip, that list is, you know, Kyrie was wild. Kyrie was wild, Skip, but that list was too excessive. It was a, it was a bit much. After Stephen A came out and said, yeah, He's wrong. He, he was so wrong in what he did. He was so wrong, but that list is excessive. Jalen Rose, you know, they're trying to buck bait Graham. I know Kyrie was wrong. But this is emasculation. After everybody came out and said that, after all of the go along, get along gang came out and said they piece about how, how Kyrie was wrong, and, but the list was excessive. After they came out and said that, there was no more six step program. Kyrie just had things to do. There was no there was no details in the media. Nobody knew what was going on. Everybody speculating. I'm searching for details. Other creators are searching for details. There's no details on ESPN. Undisputed. First take, Sports Center, none of it. Why? Because y'all didn't want that pressure from them people. And we know what this is about. This is about money and influence. This is about money and influence. Kyrie Irving has way too much money to be as influential as he's trying to be. Let's get back into this shit, man. Oh, man. Oh, this article finna get crazy. All right. Where we at? All right, so this is Kyrie clearing up his shit. I'm not going to read that. That's just... So Brooklyn released their own statement on Sunday after making the decision to lift the suspension after eight games missed. So basically, he was supposed to miss five. They said the suspension was lifted. Then put him on an additional three-game suspension to make him miss more money. Kyrie Irving discusses learning journey since suspension, a lot of hurt need, that needed to be healed. Kyrie took ownership of his journey. This is uh, the, Nets, the Nets organization. Kyrie took ownership of his journey and had conversations with several members of the Jewish community. We are pleased that he is going to 
he is going about the process in a meaningful way, then that's it. Now, here we get details. We didn't get no fucking details whether or not he had to complete the six-step program. Now, all of a sudden, all the details is coming out about the six-step program. It was no details. Kyrie just had things to do. Josiah said Kyrie has a lot more to do. He's got to put in a lot more initiative. Now, all of a sudden, after the Nets organization made him go through that six-step list, after everybody came out, now we can talk about it because it was too much pressure. It was too much media attention on, on this list, and everybody felt some type of way about that list. But now that all the heat is over, now that we made Kyrie go through that six-step program behind the scenes, now we can talk about it. So the first thing in that six-step program was issue an apology for posting a link to a movie condemn the harmful and false content and make clear that he does not have anti-Jewish beliefs. So this is what this is saying is this first one is saying is, all right, nigga, come out and say you sorry for posting a link to Hebrews to Negroes, which is going to offer an alternate way of thinking, condemn the harmful and false content against the people who pay you. Make clear that he does not have anti-Jewish beliefs. Make clear that you believe in exactly what we believe in so you can stay on this team. Complete the anti-hate causes that Irvin and the Nets and Anti-Defamation League agreed upon in their joint release on November uh, November 2nd, including a $500,000 donation toward causes uh, toward causes and organizations that work to eradicate hate and intolerance in communities to Jewish people. Complete sensitivity training created by the Nets. Sensitivity training. Mm-hmm. Mm -mm -mm. Complete anti-Semitic, anti-hate training designed by the Nets. Meet with representatives from the Anti-Defamation League and Jewish community leaders in Brooklyn. After completing one through five, meet with owner Joe Sy and lead franchise officials and demonstrate the lessons learned and that the gravity of the harm caused in the situation is understood and provide assurance that this type of behavior will not be repeated. So basically... Come back and meet with Joe Side. Make sure you learned your lesson, nigga. Make sure you never, you be like the rest of these NBA players when real shit is actually happening in the world, don't have shit to say about it. Be like real NBA players like LeBron James that told Kyrie he was wrong, but the next organization should help him learn like they doing now. Be a good nigga like LeBron James. You understand? Be a good nigga like LeBron James. Let's keep going. Many have debated whether the Nets went overboard with the punishment. Exactly. As Boston Celtics forward Jalen Brown called Nets owner Joe Sy's remarks on Irving was return alarming. Sy and Irving still had work to do last week, according to Joe Sy. Los Angeles Lakers superstar LeBron James, a former teammate of Irving's, believed the Nets were going too far. NBA Commissioner Adam Silver, who is Jewish, had a lengthy meeting with Irvin and came away saying Irvin is not prejudiced against Jewish people. However, Silver said he understood the net suspension due to uncharted territory the team was navigating. Uncharted territory. How many fucking times have we heard that, that same dumbass playbook saying uncharted territory? Uncharted territory. This is un When the fuck do you say uncharted territory in an everyday conversation? Nobody fucking says, babe. Me and you, we we in uncharted territory right now, babe. You know, and I don't think, you know, what you what you fucking that guy was a bit excessive. You know, I understand that I was wrong. You know, I understand that we in uncharted territory. You know, but you fucking that guy was wrong. When the, you don't say that, it's a script that they running. Everybody's saying the same thing. The description of the movie on Amazon that Irvin posted says the film uncovers the true identity of the children of Israel by proving the true ethnicity of Abraham, Ishmael, Isaac, Jacob, and the sons of Ham, Shem, and Japheth. Find out what Islam, Judaism, and Christianity has covered up for centuries and regarding the true biblical identity of the so-called Negroes in this movie packed with tons of research. Irving later apologized to all Jews, families, and communities hurt by this post. But only after the net suspended him. So, so the movie uncovers the identity of the children of Israel by proving the true ethnicity of the so-called Negroes. So they said, okay, Kyrie, you're trying to wake up your people. You're trying to share a post that's going to have some, uh, some uh, research in it that is 
opposed to what your paymasters think, opposed to what the dominant society thinks, uh, because we know that Jews are overrepresented in the media in Hollywood. So as they're the ones to take offense to this, it must be true because when you take offense to something, you are agreeing that you have an issue with it because it's something that you're dealing with. That's like if a man was to call another man gay and one man would, oh man, I'm not gay, this is that, this, da, 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 getting all defensive or not answering questions or hesitating, that man is gay. So it must be that the Jews know the truth. The Jewish people know that the real Jews are the black people. So they got all defensive about it. Sent them through six step program. Let's keep going, man. The seven nine nets now get one of the most dynamic scorers back on the floor. Now he's a dynamic scorer. First, now, first he was anti Semitic. He was anti Semitic for three fucking weeks. Now he's a dynamic scorer back on the floor with perennial all-star Kevin Durant. Prior to his suspension, Irvin was averaging 26.9 points per contest in 38 minutes average per game. He also sports 5.1 rebounds and 5.1 assists per game, et cetera, et cetera. So look, man, y'all could just see the bullshit all up in this article, and I hope I was able to convey to you some of the points that have been on my mind for weeks. It's like the way they're covering this issue when everybody came out and had an issue, when Jalen Brown came out after the go along, get along game came out, no information came out. Everything got so exclusive and cryptic. Go back through my channel. I was reporting this shit every day on how they bullshit in the media. We really got to understand what we up against, man. So make sure you like the video. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. And make sure you turn all of your notifications on all so you never miss a video. YouTube has not been sending out my notifications. And YouTube know I'm broke. And YouTube know I'm trying to make some money. And they know I'm passionate about this topic. About covering the media and, 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 and understanding how they be deceptive with their words and narratives. All right, family. I'll holler at y'all.